Hello and welcome back to more Football Manager 2019 action with me, Mr. Grantu. This is Swansea City, and as I'm calling it now, a Welsh development as we try and do the best we possibly can with Swansea City by only buying Welsh players. We'll see how well that goes. And as you can see from the schedule screen, last time out we played our first match. After going through our squad and we are disappointingly lost 2-1 to Sheffield United. But since then things have improved considerably. A 2 all draw with Preston and then a 2-1 win away at Birmingham City. A 1-1 draw with Leeds. It was a little bit a little bit disappointing. We, we took the lead and then they immediately equalised straight from kickoff with Kamaru. But then we beat Bristol City 3-0 before knocking crew out of the EFL Cup and our most recent win before the international break, a 1-0 away win at the den against Millwall. And you may notice from those results that there is a recurring name dropping up that wasn't there before. We did manage to sign Ben Woodburn on loan from Liverpool and he's already managed to score three goals in his five matches so far. I just think he's still got some things to work on, but just physically he's so much better for the system that we're using than Ollie McBurney. I think it's it's gonna it's gonna show as the season goes on. So we have two matches to play today. First of all we're gonna be playing Nottingham Forest who are currently in third and then we're gonna be playing Stoke in a televised game away from home they're currently in 10th and that reminds me to look at the table after all those results we currently after six games sit in seventh position with 11 points uh, considering our objective is to reach the playoffs not particularly bad and considering the only match we've lost was against sheffield united who are currently leading not too bad at all so let's get started in with today's match and see how we're going to be lining up. Should also say before we start today's match that we did sell Luciano Narsing to Olympiacos for potentially rising up to just over five hundred thousand pounds. He was moaning about not playing after six games, even though he was on a backup contract. So, not somebody we're really going to miss. The Joe Adams deal has also been confirmed. So, we've had a few injuries recently. Jay Fulton is injured. Burst Angelina has been out for a while. He's back now. But in his absence, um, George Byers has really excelled. Um, what's particularly been very successful with him is that he's got 14 free kick taking and 14 corners. So, he's managed to bag himself quite a few assists from that. Um, Lee Evans has come in. Of course, it's a player we got on loan from Wigan. And he's done pretty well, although the midfield is probably... Uh, our, it's been our weakest performing area so far. Um, Daniel James has been playing pretty well recently, although he is unfortunately not lacking a bit of fitness for this. He he did get called up for the international break for Wales, along with uh, Ben Woodburn. They were our only two players in the Welsh squad. Hopefully Joe Roden and uh, Connor Roberts can get into that at some point. Point. So I think we could probably, this is what the lineup we're going to go with. I'm probably going to have to take Daniel James out. I don't really want to risk him. So we will put him, Nathan Dyer probably. Let's put Nathan Dyer in there. He's not quite got the best fitting, but he will do. So today's match against Nottingham Forest, we will be playing Erwin Marvel in goal. Back four of Olsen, Roden, Van der Horn and Roberts. Routledge on the left, Dyer on the right, Grimes and Evans in the middle. Byers in attacking midfield with Ben Woodburn up front. Okay, so we're on a pretty good run at the moment. I'm going to tell the boys to. Uh, well, I'm going to say I expect only a bit of win to keep our good run going. We're at home. Forest are higher than us on the table, but I'm, I want them to feel confident. I want them to feel that they that they can and they should be beating anyone. Really, we should. We're a Premier League team last season in game essentially. So. That should hopefully be reflected with a promising promotion push today. Let's see how it goes. Early chance for us by the cross. Nathan Dyer pulls it across to face the goal. You have to feel Daniel James would probably have put that one away, but he can come on in the second half if we need him to. 
Oh, it's a cross route. It's saved by Pantillamon. Ayers there with the corner. He's been very effective with those so far. Adaponicon. Grimes. But Nottingham Forest resolute in defence. Quite a few chances we're dominating in terms of shots on target. It's just not finding a way through. We're going to demand a little more. Corner in from Byers. Time's headed away, and Nottingham Forest are going to break here. Robinson stopped by Nathan Dye. He's still got life in the old leg. Yeah, goes for the shot though. And Pantillamon saves easily. Okay, half time. Pretty good first half, but not anything to write home about. I'm gonna get, well, but I'm gonna be a bit positive. I'm gonna tell them I was happy with their performance. They did actually do quite well. We just haven't been able to score. I don't, I don't really see much point in being negative. I haven't really seen anything from Nottingham Forest. They're probably immediately gonna go and score now, but we'll see. Roberts with the throw in, comes out to Grimes. Over to Evans, Bias is there into Woodburn, and Ben Woodburn gets his fourth goal of the season. Matt Grimes, you can see that he uses his right foot, he doesn't like it. Evans puts the ball across, Bias is there, heads on to Woodburn, who puts it in, and you have to say we have deserved it on the balance of play so far. Could be another chance here. Olsen to Woodburn, Grimes, Evans plays it back in, comes back out to Olsen. Working nicely here, Nathan Dyer. Did I thought it was going to go to nothing, but Nathan Dyer slams it in. Grimes plays it over. He's running the show today. Nathan Dyer loses it out initially, but manages to turn it around. Pantillamon just stands there. He didn't even look in the direction of the ball. Nathan Dyer rolls back the years. Buys with a free kick. Another chance. Could have been free. Wow. Suddenly this game's come to life. We're 2-0 up. Hopefully we don't muck it up from here. Roden. Grimes. Nathan Dyer. He senses blood. Wants, wants another goal. They're, they're taking off Pele, which is always going to be a positive for us. Although I'm not sure why he was playing in defensive midfield. Okay, I think probably time to make a change. Oh, Declan John is on the bench. What on earth am I talking about? Well, he's coming on. He's coming on because Martin Olsen is a little bit tired. I'm also going to take off Fires. He's been pretty good, of course. But he's, again, he's, he's not really particularly match sharp. So Chilean is going to come on. Hopefully we can see this out. We've dominated the match. 16 shots on target. And only two goals. That might be slightly concerning, but nevertheless, we, you know, we've got the two goals. We are leading. It looks like we're going to see it out. Let's make a final change just before the end. Joe Roden's looking quite tired, so Cameron Carter Vickers can come on just to see it out. And that is going to be that, a fantastic 2-0 win against a team that was above us in the table. Complete domination, really. It was one highlight for Nottingham Forest in the entire match. Once again dominating the possession, once again dominating shots on target by a massive margin. I mean, 19 shots on target, perhaps a little bit concerning that we only scored two goals, but at, the point, at this point in time, I don't really, I don't really care. Uh, fantastic result, really, really pleasing. So here's how we're going to line up against Stoke for the second game of the episode. We find ourselves third in the table after the last match. Uh, just three points off, sh off Blackburn, the automatic promotion place. We'll be a very, very early stage. So for this game against Stoke, we're going to line up probably back to more of our strongest lineup. Nathan Dyer's picked up a little bit of an injury, and so he's going to drop out, and Daniel James is going to come back in. Probably actually, yeah, Mark Stolson not feeling the best, so Declan John can come in for him as well. 
Uh, Jay Felton's still injured, Leroy Fur, I fear, is going to maybe complain about lack of first team football soon. He's a key player. But at the moment, the combination of Grimes and Evans is working pretty well in midfield. Lee Evans certainly not putting in a comedian's performance despite his namesake. In fact, he's actually improving. Potentially someone we'd like to get permanently if Wigan let us have him. So the boys seem very positive for this game as well. They might give him the run of form we're on. Stoke though away from home, always a tricky place to go. Stoke with a very strong lineup here. Jack Bartland, Joe Allen, of course, former player. So he'll probably score like every former player does in Football Manager this year. And it but certainly this year. Uh Benicophobi up front, who was part of that ridiculous transfer with um Bournemouth and Wolves, where they where Wolves basically bought him and then immediately sold him a few days later. Well, early stages here, and we have our first highlight. And we've got a penalty. Ben Woodburn going to take it. I've not really looked at penalty takers yet. Hopefully, he actually is our best. And he scored. Well, he scored. Jack Butlin makes the save. Great save from Butlin. I mean, very unlucky Butlin there to concede. Woodburn gets the rebound in. Of course, that's a goal that wouldn't count in next year's game because penalties... If they're saved, it'll be considered a dead ball, but not this year, so we are all right. Um, obviously, Jack Butler, not a player, will be allowed to sign because he is English and will be forevermore. But I have used him in uh, another save uh, and on FM19, and he is absolutely fantastic. Very, very consistent, but particularly when it comes to saving penalties. Adam, save a penalty for me in the Europa League final. So... Not a surprise that it was saved, but Ben Woodburn puts in the rebound, nevertheless. Okay, so half-time, a 1-0 lead. Pretty good. I could have won them against the perils of complacency. I'm going to tell them I'm pleased and I want them to keep things up. Um, rather annoyingly, Ben Woodburn, despite scoring the goal, he's only on a 6.5, which I assume is because he technically missed the penalty. I don't know why the game puts such store by things like that. Missing penalties really affects your rating. Own goals really affect your rating, regardless of the rest of your actual performance. Seems slightly misjudged, but there we go. James finds a ball into Routledge. He's offside. We have got two very old wingers, but they are playing pretty well. So far this season, Fires, John. Oh my goodness! I'm glad I'm recording that. John, Matt Grimes decides to just pass it into the goal. <laughs> oh, that's the kind of thing you want to see for the opposition, not not for us. Hang on. Oh, I've got to go back and see that again. Yeah, I don't. I'm. I'm not. I shouldn't be laughing. It's us. That that is ridiculous. Roberts, John, pass it to Grimes, and then he just, just fully shoot. He fully shoots it into his own goal. Oh, I gotta see it again. Byers to John Grimes. He's under no pressure, and he properly thumps it into our goal. Mulder does absolutely nothing because he wasn't. Ex why would he? He wasn't expecting it at all. A chance for us to restore the lead after that insanity. I'm gonna have to take him off in a minute. Byers, Evans, Grimes. Can he redeem himself? Tries to redeem himself immediately. He's only got. He's on a six point six after doing that. That was ridiculous. His his ratings going up despite the fact he's just scored one of the most insane own goals that I have ever seen. Chance for Stoke here from a free kick. We've got it back though. John finds Woodburn, switches way to Daniel James across and Wayne Routledge. Wayne Routledge rolls back the gears as Nathan Dyer did in the match before him. To be fair, he scored four goals this season. But Wayne Routledge slots it into the near post and we have the lead again. Hopefully, no one's going to do anything really silly. 
In fact, I think let's just take let's take Matt Grimes off, so he can't he can't possibly do anything stupid. Round for Evans, I think, and they're playing quite well. But I'm going to take Byers off for Chalina. Chalina, Kalina, who knows? Sabo with a free kick for Stoke. Mulder picks it up this time. That's a Routledge. Can we get a quick break here? Routledge. But then parries it over and we hit the post. Not the most convincing of goalkeeping from Jack Butland after I gave him such a ringing endorsement before. He does make a save there though. Shalina with the corner in, headed away by Shawcross. Okay, game's still not over yet. Another highlight. Goes in our favour though. Evans slides it forward. Butland picks it up this time. Stoke looking to break. Vanderhorn heads it straight to Sam Vokes. Jeffrey slops there and he fully micons it into the goal. But what is the angle on this? Bauer crosses it in and slop just <laughs> how has he done that? Fully fully micon level of Okay, that is going to be that two all draw. Not really a fair reflection on the match, but I have to, I have to say we kind of been a little bit robbed there. A ridiculous goal from Jeffrey Schlupp, an impossible angle, and an utterly insane own goal from Matt Grimes that defies all logic, cancelling out some pretty good football from us but two all could have been worse we didn't lose we're still unbeaten since the opening day of the season i'm going to tell them i'm going to tell them i was disappointed because i don't know well, well, maybe i shouldn't have done that vanderhorn's not very happy but it was just, it was it's just the way we conceded is quite comical particularly the grimes goal okay so that result leaves us in fourth place 13 points after eight games Pretty good start, I think. Well in contention for the playoffs at this early stage. Not too bad at all. So that's going to be the end of the episode there. But thanks very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you next time.